Hi, my name is Lane Grisham, and today I'm going to show you my three-tier senior project. Uh, this is a World War II strategy game. It's basically like playing chess with guns. You set up your units on one side, and the other team sets up on the other side, and you just fight against each other. Uh, this was programmed in C Sharp using DirectX 9. This was before XNA, um, so this is kind of the long way around. Um, you can also all the models and stuff were in 3D Max. Um, all the Probably the most detailed is the maps. Um, all the models for the characters and stuff are just boxes with names on them. But um, the functionality is there. And shader um, is set to default, uh, so there isn't anything too special there. And I'm going to go ahead and run it here. Okay, so once you get this project started up, um, one of the things you need to do is make some profiles to play on. And just what the profile does is it allows you to um, purchase units. And so we're going to make a um, profile name named Sam, and he's going to be Nazis. And so we're just going to buy units. And you can pick different weapons, but we're just going to go with the uh, regular ones. Alright, we created one profile, now we're going to make another. Alright, so we're going to load those profiles up and load up a map and we're going to start playing against them. Now the maps are created in a custom, another custom program I made. Um, I also have a demo of that on there if you want to take a look at that. And so we're going to start up. Alright, so we're going to load it up here. Now this program probably isn't going to be able to pick up the nice frame rate that I'm having right now. Alright, so the map's loaded up. So at the very beginning of each map, each team picks where they want to put their units. Kind of just setting it up for the game. Now right now it is the Americans turn and we are going to set an assault person up on the map. And the controls are just basically the arrow keys and enter and shift. Enter selects and shift deselects. So we have an assault character and it says up there so you can place that guy so we'll put him on the right there now it's demolition's turn so we'll put a demolition on the bridge maybe he can take out those guys on the bridge and a sniper we're gonna maybe put him on the left a little up and now there's a medic so we'll put him behind maybe to heal somebody okay so now it's the Nazis time turn to set up units so they're gonna We set up an assault on the bridge. Now let's put a demolition maybe on the left. Maybe he can blow up something else over there. And a sniper, we'll put him on the right towards the assault guy. Now we have our medic. Let's put him behind um, the demolition guy. Okay, so you can either undo all and that um, resets the whole thing so you can set them all up over again, or we're just going to start the game. Okay, so it's Bob's turn, and he's the American, so he's gonna... We have four action points, and action points are determined right, how many characters the player has. So we have four characters, so we have four movements, or four points. So you can pick between moving, or attacking, or action. Moving is just moving your unit. Attacking, you can attack a unit. And action, um, each character has their own little action, like the demolition has explosives. And sniper has smoke, and then medic has, it can heal people. So we're going to take this demolition guy and blow up the bridge. Okay, so we blew up the bridge, so now units can't run on the bridge. Or run past that point. Yes, my so we have one more, one more point here. We're going to move our assault guy forward. Okay, so it's it's the Nazi's turn. So we're gonna take our take his sniper and try to shoot the demolition guy on the bridge. And 
you can see he's hurting him right there. He has 50 health now. And he's dead. So the demolition guy just got killed by the sniper, so we can't use him anymore. Okay, so it's the American's turn. So we're gonna try to make you get our medic and try to um, revive the demolition guy. The medics have a special ability to where they can heal people if they're dead. So let me move the demolition guy down here. We're gonna blow up the part so they can't walk past here. So now that sniper can't come across. about to heal him. Alright, the demolition goes back to health now. So he he just got revived. So we're gonna take our demolition guy and shoot this assault guy. Okay. Well, just once. Okay, now it's the Nazi's turn again. So we're gonna take the assault guy and attack the demolition guy. Take the sniper guy. We're gonna try to kill their medic. Okay, we just killed their medic so they can't revive anybody now. By your command. And as you can tell, people can't walk in the water. Of course. Sniper guy's gonna kill this assault guy. The only assault guy's still alive. So that assault guy that the demolition just shot is dead now. Okay, he just killed our assault guy. So I'm gonna try to shoot him with their demolition. Apparently, that was too short of range for the demolitions weapon. Yes, Master. Aye, laddie. Command. Now we're gonna attack this sniper guy. Of course, master. Hi, Lonnie. And as you can see, our demolition guy is trapped there. He can't go forward or back because the medic's in the way. So we're gonna go ahead and. Take our sniper guy here. By your command. And shoot this other sniper. And 
that sniper is dead. So the only guy left is that demolition guy way over there. So we're gonna have to try to kill him. This master. By your command. Okay, the demolition guy's dead. So. Yeah, everyone else is dead on that team, so the Americans won. And that's my game demo. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want the source code, you can go to www.langresham.net. It's under projects slash demos. Alright, you guys take it easy.